All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Alara Canfield Show, the Awaken the Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And my good friend Susan Kennard is back with us. And today we're talking about gateway to abundance. So um, Susan's going to be talking about a lot of stuff about abundance and her guides. And she's uh, going to tune in and scan your bodies, you um, on the call and do live readings as well. But we're going to talk specifically about, you know, which part of your body or energy center chakra is blocked, preventing you from creating abundance and accessing your gateway, gateway to abundance. We're going to talk about how there is only fear or love and which energy center or chakra is out of balance holding fear and fear stops the flow of money and love. We're going to talk about the endocrine system and how it's connected to our chakra system and which endocrine, endocrine gland or organ is showing you the message and why. And you're going to begin to understand what your body is telling you and how to heal it on a cellular level. You're going to understand why more than ever you need to listen to your body in order to align to your mission and open to the gateway of abundance. And like I said, during the show, Susan's going to be uh, doing scans. So you can ask Susan why your body is showing a particular message or a question about your life. And she will tune in with her guides and help you to understand not only the science and vibration, behind it, but we'll also give you a specific message from her guides or receive healing. So it's going to be a fun call, a fun show. I know we're going to have lots of people with their hands raised and questions in the chat. We'll get to that in a bit. But for those of you who don't know Susan, she is known as a spiritual scientist who originally trained in psychology and psychotherapy over 20 years ago. And in the last 12 years has added many energy healing modalities to her practice. Susan has an extensive toolbox, which has allowed her to create her own unique way of working. And Susan has been a therapist for over 20 years and in that time has specialized in helping people to clear their trauma on all different levels. And Susan is trained in meta health, helping people to find their own inner healer and facilitating their healing journey of the body. So we're gonna be doing a lot on the call and you're gonna really enjoy um, the, the mini readings or mini scans with Susan for sure. And, um, we're going to talk about the gateway of abundance and what that is and all that and so much more. So it's always so much fun to have you here, Susan, and I already see people <laughs> with their hand raised, which is great. But, you know, before we get Thanks to the, the questions, I do want to talk a little bit about the, the idea of, you know, the gateway to abundance, the idea of, mm -hmm. you know, tuning into your body and which guides are working with you today to help us. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I think I'll introduce the one guide that has been with me since the, the top of the hour, mm -hmm. an hour ago, st stood right here. Um, and that is Dr. Yamosho. And uh, he, he came back to me uh, about a month ago now and uh, told me that he'd worked with me in the early days of medical mediumship. And uh, I was resistant and wasn't ready for him to come in apparently then, but has been working with me. But now he actually is showing himself to me, whereas he's been working behind the scenes. And now he comes forward for the last month, he's come forward. And what he tends to do is he works while I'm doing something else. So I see him stand behind the person um, the client and he works with usually to do with the spine to do with um, something going on in the physical body that's showing up as a, as a barometer which I'll, I'll talk about in a moment but essentially he'll come in and and it's like psychic surgery um, he'll come in and do that and then I will get on with doing whether it's releasing trauma whether it's um, helping somebody you know whatever it might be Mm -hmm. um so I'll get on with that work whether it's in a child or whether mm -hmm. it's it's something else um but he comes in and, and essentially uh, does that part of work um for us which is amazing and people have said that they could actually feel him and feel what he was doing in their shoulder or their spine or you know whatever whatever it was so I feel very honored and blessed that he works with me other guides and galactics work with me as well and that's not to say they're equally as important and they will probably come through today but he seems to stand really clearly today so now I think he's going to be the main guide um, to uh, working with some messages here in the chat coming up, Alara. Um, so yeah, so abundance. Well, it's something I really stumbled upon. You know, many years ago, I worked with veterans uh, on my initial journey of, I mean, I'm a psychologist and psychotherapist. 
essentially working in the science background aspect of my life. I quit my previous life now, but um, what I was doing then, but I stumbled upon the fact that when I worked with serious trauma, I did that in child protection, but I also did it with veterans. And what I noticed was that with the veterans with labels of PTSD, when they came to me and when we healed, they healed, we healed together, the aspects of them that were separated from source or perceived a separation to source or a separation to God or, or self. When we healed those parts, they started to feel this sense of connection again. They started to align to why they were truly here. And they started to realize that actually the battlefield PTSD was not really what it was. That was just a symptom or a trigger. And that led me to really look at uh, kind of anecdotal research that I didn't even really mean to do. I just sort of started to see a theme. And what I started to see was that every time that we started to connect with that true inner guidance, that true part of us, when we didn't feel that fear and that separation to source, that life just started to become more abundant. And that was on every level. So that was on an emotional level, you know, relationships and, and families and friendships and so on, work situations, but also the physical body. And um, it's my belief that the physical body is a barometer for our soul. And so when our physical body is showing something, then, you know, your beautiful husband, you know, he's almost like a wake up call because he's being reborn again, right? You know, but here, he didn't need to go back to be reborn again. He was reborn again in this situation. And it's possible that what's happening now with many people is, is a big wake up call and a big awakening. So whatever the physical body is showing, um, and I say all of this with no judgment at all. And if I come to you and you ask a question about your body, there's no judgment ever that you've done this to yourself or anything. It's just the vibration that's held in your body and it's a message for you to listen to. Okay, so I see it, the, the body as a barometer for the soul. And when um, we are, we need a bit of tweaking, you know, we, we need to tweak our energy field and we need to love ourselves maybe a bit more and we need to really align to why we're here which I believe is to remember who we are but also to be of service you know there are many things as well we all have our own mission but our purpose really is that unconditional love really of ourselves but also to be of service without uh, sacrifice you know without sacrificing ourselves with service um, so that's the physical body. And then um, what else? So the abundance side of it. So money, uh, people often see that as abundance. And of course, money is really important for us so that we can create more freedom. And of course, freedom is abundance. You know, if you have freedom, you can be more abundant in your life because you have more time. You know, I, I like to you know, work with vets, you know, charity stuff. And tomorrow I'm going to be working with some HIV, um, a charity, you know, that, that, that supports um, HIV. And I just, I have that freedom to do that. And that's a really lovely place to be. And so we have to really clear our energy. And I know you, you probably hear this all the time, clear our energy. You know, if you guys are here, you're here because you're very conscious and very aware. But what I found is that it's not a quick fix ever. It's a, a steady healing process while we're here on the earth plane, you know, and we never get it done, but we get it done to a place where we feel that sense of what I say to, to my groups is an inner peace and this sense of freedom and, and the guys are actually saying innocence, which I wasn't going to say, but an innocence of who we are which is beautiful, actually. I haven't thought of that. But it is like an innocence, isn't it, Alara? It's like, um, mm -hmm. you know, when we come back to that knowing, it is like that childlike innocence. Uh, I think that's what they're trying to say here, you know. Yeah. And and that space of really connecting with the, the joy and the fun and the freedom that 
we were meant to experience, you know, we were meant to experience this. So the abundance side of it, you know, I've always found that I, I can see into the body and I can see where the blocks are, but we can also feel it. You know, perhaps we, you know, we can't put on weight. Our body doesn't allow us. There's a message. We have more weight than we want. There's a message. We have the aching in our body. There's a message. You know, we have headaches. There's a message, you know. And uh, there are there are many aspects of ourselves that perhaps we just ignore or on the other side of it. Um, and just a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor I don't claim to heal or cure you know you are your own inner healer and I support that and that's the way I work but essentially you know these we can suppress these messages very well you know with um, perhaps um, antidepressants or something else that's going on in our life and we suppress the message so that we don't hear it but that message is is definitely still there and really, it's it's a message to be thankful for, because by giving that gratitude to that message in your body, then you're acknowledging for the first time, perhaps, OK, I'm going to listen. And it, and it could be that three year old part of you. And we're definitely going to do some work on that today. It could be that three year old part of you that's outside of you energetically saying, well, I don't feel worthy of this, or I don't feel ready, or I couldn't possibly do this, I'm not good enough, or, you know, whatever it might be, or shock or fear that's held in the field. So that's my kind of brief answer around abundance, but definitely it's the field, and it's the crystalline field, and it's the the physical body showing the message, but we are this beautiful vibrational field and I, I quite often say, if you took this jacket off, this, you know, clothes, our skin, if we took this off inside, would just be this incredible, expansive light that had no limits, mm-hmm. you know, completely limitless. And we wouldn't be thinking, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't live my mission because there's no human thought with it you know so that's what I have to I have to keep reminding myself that as well when I'm doing homeschooling (laughs) with my kids here in the UK lockdown and I have to uh, keep reminding myself "Mm, I am an incredible being of light choosing this human experience so you know we we none of us are fallible none of us are perfect that's not what it's about authenticity is important but and just to acknowledge that you know at any time in our life, there could be a message that comes up. Laura is clearly expressing that with her husband at any time. You know, and he's a very spiritual man, right? It's a very yeah. mm-hmm. touch, very completely. Yeah. So there's obviously yeah. something much more for him that he didn't know about or he knew about but forgot. Right? Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> and so, you know, he's remembering it now, right? <laughs> And I'm like, and, finally, um, yay. But, yeah, finally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, we bless him for that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, you know, it's, it, it, who knows what is in our experience that we've chosen that we haven't experienced yet. But I think the key is just to stay really present, clear our energy fields the best way possible, and just to stay in that place of sovereignty you know, a beautiful sovereign being, having a human experience this time. Yeah, I and love that, that this time. kind of says it, yeah. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> good, thank you. Um, and so, you know, we are going to do a lot of scans per se, but, you know, you all know this, most of you know this by now, scans does not mean, hey, to scan my body. No, you have to have a question, something <laughs> specific, okay? You know this, so don't even try and please I can let's do that to, but you know so you know, we can get around more it would be yeah easier, and yeah. let's keep mm-hmm. it to one one thing so that more people can work with Susan okay not like okay I just have one more question I have just one more no keep it to one please because because I want as many people as possible to work with Susan so that they can experience um, her her wisdom her healing and her gift so okay <laughs> I've made myself pretty clear <laughs> oh, on that right mm-hmm. But um, but all that- if you don't get a message, then you know the fact is that um, what I find is that the healing that somebody um, is receiving or the message they're receiving will be a resonance 
to somebody else. And so my healing that comes through me, um, I believe it is for everyone anyway. Absolutely. Mm. And, and that's the thing, you you know, be open to receiving the messages from other people, whatever messages they're getting, mm. see if that resonates with you and be willing to receive it because not everybody, not everybody may get a chance to talk to Susan. So just, you know, keep that in mind too. All right. Um, mm. Okay. So, <laughs> and I know we're going to do a process as well later, right? Yeah, I quite like to get everyone um, into their center and just do a little meditation. Sure. Um, okay. It's one of the bonuses as well. So we can go through that and everyone can experience it. So I think it's really important to be, you know, connected. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can be in our head, you know, a bit. We've got lots of things we want to ask or we just want the answers to. And that takes us out of our inner knowing. So yeah. if everyone's OK to do that, let's do that. Oh, okay, so just come into your heart space. And if you can, put your hands on your heart and you're in a space that you can do that, then just do that. Give me just one sec. Okay, create all those. It's commanded that you pull, click, cancel, and delete. And all flowers are resolved. There's no way anyway. What's any witches, any entities, any attachments, anything that doesn't serve for the group here and anyone listening after? And send it to unconditional love. Thank you. Okay, so just come into your heart space and imagine that beautiful ball of light underneath your hands, expanding out as you breathe. And if you could breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, that's better. And then we start to connect with the central nervous system and the part of us that is often on high alert, that affects our endocrine gland, especially our adrenals. We start to calm it down. It's called the parasympathetic nervous system, but we're just going to bring that peace and calm into the body. Good. And just breathe that light down to your legs and your feet and up to the crown of your head. And just to imagine coming back into the heart that underneath your feet, you can imagine a beautiful star and this is your earth star. And this is your connection to mother earth, your support from mother, and even if in this time and this timeline of your lifetime, you don't or you didn't feel supported by mother, this feeling of connection with your earth star will allow you to feel that connection of being supported. So just see if you can expand that earth star out into mother earth. Okay, good feeling safe and secure. And then I want you to imagine that above your head, there is a beautiful star and it is your soul star. And I want you just to imagine that that soul star holds all of the answers for you. It's your connection to all of the times that you've lived before. And it's the part of you that remembered who you were a divine being of light having a human experience. So I want you to imagine that there is a beautiful rainbow shower of light coming down from the soul star, cascading down you and creating a space, a beautiful bubble of protection around you. Good. So just remember to breathe. And I want you to set an intention for this evening, wherever you are in the world. Just set an intention for what you would like to heal today. What you would like to release. And those of you that work with your guides and your angels, just invite in all of those beings. And even if you don't know who they are or you haven't worked with them or you're beginning your journey of awakening, 
Just know that you have many guides and angels working with you. And we just need to ask. Just invite them to step into your field. Sometimes we feel a sense of warmth or a tingling or just an awareness of peace. And these are signatures. Okay, good. So knowing that you're in the perfect place in the perfect time. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Awesome. Thank you. Definitely much more present now. Yeah. This, I like to do that. <laughs> Good. Yay. All right. So how's everybody feeling? Ready for some questions? Very nice. Lots. Some names here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lots of people yeah. have raised lots of questions in the chat. All right. So uh, we're going to go with Gurjeet first. Gurjeet, do you want to unmute yourself? Yes. Hi, Alara, and, and hi to Susan. Hi. 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 The question I have is, uh, of course, for you to scan, scan my body and see what's the abundance block. And uh, also for my feet, because I feel that the condition on my feet is related to the abundance block. So that's my question. I think you're absolutely right. The first place that I see where there's, you know, if we rather than saying block, let's just say there's just a, um, a little resistance there. And the first place that I'm seeing, and I will talk to you about your feet, <laughs> but where I'm seeing is, is literally right here. Yeah, right here on your forehead. And so uh, the guides are showing me this. This isn't Dr. Yamosho. He's, he's going to do something else. But I can see that here is your inner vision. And you have this incredible inner vision, but there is a resistance to really expanding that inner vision for yourself. And what the guides are telling me is it's, it's your own resistance that stops you from really being seen. And I know this is about an inner vision for others, but this is also reflecting in your vision of yourself. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So we are actually going to do, and they're telling me we're going to do an activation for everyone, for you, um, for InnoVision. That's what we're doing in a second. Okay, so everyone will be ready for that. But when we go to the feet, if we look at the feet, we're thinking about what part of us that is human, what part of us is connected to Mother Earth. So if you think about it, um, the feet are very much our trunk of our tree, aren't they? There are part of us that touch the earth plane so that we can actually be grounded. And of course we have the root chakra, we have all of our energy centers, but, and, and obviously the earth star. But what I found is that when there are problems with the feed, and if we looked at the science perspective, tell me what is going on with them in a minute, and I'll help you with that. But essentially if our feet, if we're not feeling grounded in this earth, if we're not feeling safe and secure and feeling that we can really receive then quite often there is a um almost like a, an energy part of us that is not grounded into mother earth so we can be really psychic and really connected but we're not grounded in mother earth and what happens with that is we cannot manifest and the manifesting aspect of it is about us being really grounded in that earth star chakra. And we don't, you know, not many people talk about the earth star chakra, but that they always talk about the root. And that is very important, incredibly important. But the earth star chakra is known as the billionaire chakra. And the reason why it's known as that is because when that is fully formed and fully grounded, then we are in that space where we can manifest and create, okay? Not necessarily a billion pounds or dollars, but just in that place where we feel really safe to create. So is it the skin or what's going on with your feet? It's the skin. 
So that's what they're telling me. So I just wanted to check with you. So the skin from a neuropsychology perspective or meta health perspective is related to separation. So when we have a message in the skin, just in this brain relay, it's the cortex part of the brain. So when we are in this brain relay, it means you've made a beautiful acceptance to being connected to who you are, but there is a stuck bit of energy that is still held there that stops you from feeling really safe in this world. All right, does that make sense to you? It does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So when the skin shows a message, i.e., eczema or itching, or you know, itching is a healing peak. It is I have made acceptance that I'm not separated. And quite often, and in the old days, I used to say separated from mother, and it is mother, but it's more Mother Earth. Yeah, that we feel separated from. Yeah. So um, that's how I see it. So when I work with somebody with skin issues or whatever it might be, I always know it's around separation. And of course, we're never separated. We never were. It's just that we feel that sense of separation. Okay. And sometimes when we're on a really beautiful healing journey, then that healing journey leads to bringing up things in the skin the skin's the largest organ and so it shows it in its skin really and then people go and put cream on it and suppress it into the cell and then it's still laying there as I feel separated Hmm, interesting Yeah. yeah so so scientifically we can look at it that way but we can also look at it spiritually okay so let me just um what I feel is more helpful for you is um to work with this aspect here. So just um, be ready for this. So I'm just asking who wants to come in and do this. So what I didn't say was there are many beings that work with me. So it just depends on who. Wow, it's Mikhailzadek. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have heard heard of Mikhailzadek. And here he comes. Okay, so there is um, an activation for everybody for their inner vision. So in a moment when you hear this tone, sometimes, the tone will get lost. So it's such a high vibration that you'll just hear like a tiny sound, but it's actually quite loud. Um, And if that happens, you're still receiving. And we wish for you to imagine, okay, we wish for you to imagine a beautiful starlight here. So when the sound comes in, just imagine an opening of the starlight here. I've seen that before, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. So this is for everybody so that they actually have um, a clearer inner vision for their life and an ability to feel safe with what they see in front of them. Okay, thank you. Right, so here we go. I'll keep my eyes closed for a moment, but you feel free, whatever you wish to do. you feel that thank you Susan that was beautiful can you feel a sense of um I don't know it's like an opening for yourself yeah and I really just want to say to you that um it really is your time and what they're saying to me is that you have um been resisting really sharing your light and really standing in your power as this spiritual being so please definitely hear that it is your time and for my feet is there anything I need to be doing just wait and see what happens (laughs) because uh when we start to feel safer in our sense of being here and sometimes it's just hearing the words then, you know, there's a little shift that happens, but there's definitely um, an acceptance here, but I get 
around six years of age as well. I feel there's some some questions when you were around that age. Does that make sense to you that the world was quite confusing for you? And I feel it was confusing around love in the sense of I don't know what love is and I'm not sure I know how to receive it. Okay, so there would be some inner child work there which would be helpful. So when somebody else receives inner child work, if that is what they need, then set the intention that your six-year-old child receives that as well. Okay. Yes. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Bajit. And that was great because that activation for the third eye uh, was for all of us, not not yeah. just for Gurjeet. So remember to be willing to receive any activations, any healing, anything that resonates with you. Okay. I really felt it a lot in my third eye. It was really, really active. So. And I willing. don't know that they're going to do that. They just tell me in that moment, oh, that's what we're going to do. And I'm like, okay, that's it. Then we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Julie's iPhone. You're, can you unmute yourself, Julie? Sorry, just talking away. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Julie. <laughs> um, Hi. I would like to get a body scan for my blocks. Uh, in particular, I've been having recently a lot of headaches and mm -hmm. yeah. okay. uh, pain around my left ear. So the first thing they said to me, I mean, I kind of really don't need to know what, what's going on because they'll tell me already, but they were showing me the hearing and what they were saying to me were, was um, that this is about um, them wanting to connect more deeply with you on a clairaudient level. And there's a, a resistance about what you're hearing, but it's not from today, all right? So the resistance about what you're hearing, I think your internet connections a bit I hope you can hear me um the resistance is from the words that were said to you as a child okay so I'm getting you around eight to ten years old in fact that gap eight ten years old they're showing me where you know that there, there were some things that perhaps were said to you that you heard at that sort of age that were imprinted into your field and they were um so I'm kind of careful how I say these things, but essentially words that were not kind, okay? But they relate to you being, so show me a screen up here now of you in the womb. They relate to you uh, when you were growing in the womb as well. So I feel like there's an ancestral energy here that you've brought in. Um, and this is what's happening with your, what's going on with your head, all right? But I will just say to you, that headaches can be many things and I'll just give everybody including you a few ideas so quite often we'll get a sharp pain in our head when we've made an acceptance and had a healing peak so we do some healing I'm sure you all may have noticed that before um we do some healing and then oh there's a you know a sharp pain goodness where did that come from and that is actually the neural pathways and an acceptance in the brain relay and then the body sometimes feels really tired, okay, because that's called regeneration. So we have that, but headaches come around the new moon as well. And we are slap bang in the new moon today. So if people have been feeling headaches, there's a big opening happening. You know, we've got Stellium in Aquarius, you know, got, I'm an intuitive astrologer as well. And I look at what's going on there and I can see that it's almost like we're being brought up here like a pressure cooker to be released. So I definitely feel that can also be what's going on at the moment for people. But for you, Julie, I really feel this is around um, words uh, that were said to you. Does it make sense to you? Just unmute yourself, my love. Um, I, I don't know exactly yeah. what those would be. No, no, sure. Yeah. But when I say it to you, when the guides say that to you, What's the feeling you have inside? Um, I guess sadness. Yeah, okay, and where do you feel that in your body? A stomach. Yeah, okay, is that your solar plexus or do you feel lower down? Mm. 
I guess my solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, you know, this is my feeling about that, but this is connected to when you give your power away. So it's about our power center. It's very much about, you know, our childhood. It's just what I feel and what I've noticed. So let's do some inner child work, shall we, for everybody and for you? Would that be helpful for you? And then do you feel um, when you have, did you say pain, you had discomfort? When do you, where do you get that? Well, like kind of above my left ear, it's been really bad lately. Yeah, interesting. And how long has it been like that? Mm, For a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And what was happening six months before around a conversation you might not want to have heard? Or what do you feel? Hmm. I mean, I've had a lot of health issues, so maybe it was a conversation around ah. that. I mean, I can't think of anything in particular that. We- yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we, we, you know, we hear something, it triggers, not necessarily from that day, but triggers something from before. Yeah. Well, we've heard something that we don't want to hear. Okay. But I'm feeling mm-hmm. very much, this is around your guides really wanted to come in and work with you much more so that you can hear them and you can actually hear them. And I see that there is kind of like a, a block there. I don't like the word block, another word. Can't think of another word, but a resistance or a block um, to that energy coming through that you can hear. Okay. All right. So let's do in a child work and let's see what happens with it. Okay. So everyone can do this. This is um, a beautiful process that we can do. Okay. So everyone uh, close their eyes. Me, Julie specifically. And so for you, Julie, we're working with this particular aspect around the pain you have above your ear, but everybody else can work with something that they feel needs to be healed, okay? So you're working with that. So I just want you to invite out that child. So we're going to invite them out, these inner children. Okay, yeah. So there may be many, I'm hearing. Many inner children that are ready to be healed today. So we're just going to invite them to be present. Okay, Julie, can you see, can you see one or more? Yeah, okay, you can see one or more, excellent. So I want you to connect with that little you. You can see her. And how is she feeling about being here in the world? Scared. Mm -hmm. So let's surround her with angels so let's just imagine all those beautiful angels around her good Mm -hmm. and how old is she three yeah so this is a really good age to work with because it's when we go into the ego part of ourselves and we feel that we're not our mother anymore so we become in our sense of separation right so this is perfect (laughs) okay so I want you just to see her and is she feeling a little bit safer that she's got her angels yes yeah okay and everybody do the same with their child and I want you to say to your little child I'm so sorry that you felt so scared I'm so sorry that you felt so scared I'm so sorry there was no one there to help you understand it I'm so, so, I'm so sorry there was no one there to help you understand it. <clears throat> I'm so sorry that you felt all alone in the world in that moment. I'm so sorry you felt all alone in the world in that moment. I'm so sorry that that made you shut down a little bit of your heart. I'm so sorry that made you shut down a little bit of your heart. And you stopped trusting. And you stopped trusting. Okay, how is she feeling now? Uh, much better Mm -hmm. what does she need from you compassion Mm -hmm. that's what you're giving her but what does she need from you a hug okay just just feel what we're definitely going to do that but let's just feel what else does she need from you love yeah so I want you to say to her I'm so sorry that love was so confusing. I'm so sorry that love was so confusing. 
I'm so sorry that you didn't really understand it. I'm so sorry you didn't really understand it. And I'm so sorry that you forgot. And I'm so sorry you forgot. You are an incredible being of light. You are an incredible being of light. Having a human experience. Having a human experience. And you have all your needs met at all times. You have all your needs met at all times. Okay, how does she feel now? Lighter, better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. So one of the angels is stepping forward and she's offering her a basket full of stars. Can she see it? Yes. Good. So I want her to choose the star that feels like connection and place okay. it in her heart. She can place it in her heart. Okay. Good, how is she feeling now? Safe. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I want her to choose the star of unconditional love. Okay. And to place it in her heart. How is she feeling now? Happy. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I want her to choose the star of peace and calm. Okay. Place it in her heart. Okay, good. How is she feeling? Calm. Uh, good. Drink. <laughs> so there's a few gifts in the basket. The first gift is a cloak of protection. So I want her to take the cloak of protection and place it around her shoulders. Sometimes it's a bit like Harry Potter, but other times it's velvet. <laughs> okay. okay. Which did she have, a velvet one or? A velvet one. Yeah, okay, good. And I want her to find her magic wand, which is a wand with a star on the top. And there's one other thing, and it's a crown. And I want her to take the crown and place it on her head. <laughs> How does she feel now? Strong, happy. Mm -hmm. Good. And what does she need from you now? I just get love. Mm -hmm. So I want you to say to her, I will always love and accept you for who you are. I will always love and accept you for who you are. Whoever you choose to be in the world. Whoever you choose to be in the world. And whoever you choose to be with. And whoever you choose to be with. How does she feel now? Uh, light and expansive. Mm -hmm. So I want you to ask her, where you have your pain, you know where you have your pain in your ear. I want you to ask her to show you on her where that came from. Is it a bit of a dusty bit or non-sparkly bit or is it in her tummy, is it in her heart? Where is it? Mm, I guess her heart. Mm -hmm. So get her to get her magic wand because she now remembers she can heal herself because she has everything she needs and just get her to touch her heart with her wand and fill it with sparkling light, healing light to release that block. Okay, good. How does she feel now? Um, excited, happy. Mm -hmm. Good. So can you ask her to wave her wand and magic herself into your heart? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get her to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to see her, put your, put your hand up at your heart and just feel that sense of unity, oneness, that she's no longer outside of you. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
How do you feel? Better. My pain is better too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Just bring the angels in as well. Just we're just going to bring those in. So I'm just being told. Just bring the angels in as well. Whew. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so behind you now, I can see that the, there's still a little veil that you're stopping your guides coming in, but it's not, it's not the same. And so there's a feeling now that there will be more trust with your inner guidance, okay? And what they're saying to me, Jules, is that you're very good at, as we all are, right? Easy to help other people um, with any guidance, really, I'm hearing. But for yourself, to hear your guides, is harder for you so just be open to that and you know there's there's some more that we could do there but I wanted to just make sure that you could feel safe in that moment and that three-year-old was feeling disconnected so when we feel disconnected we're acting like a three-year-old no judgment of course <laughs> but we're acting like a three-year-old so we so we respond to situations as if we are that child yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how's sure. it feeling in your head? Better. Yeah, it definitely feels better. The pain's not as bad. So thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. But obviously, you know, you take responsibility. Um, if you feel that you want to talk to anyone medical, then that that's your free will, that's your choice. And it's not for me to say to or not to okay so you make that decision i'm just helping you with the trauma aspect and the healing aspect and helping you understand why your body might show that message okay great perfect right, my love. Thank well you. thank you because that's helped a lot of other people great yeah thank you, thank you susan you're welcome yeah. thank you julie that was great so i really enjoyed that inner child process as well you know um mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing is that we can all receive from each of these processes, whatever comes up. So be willing to please. All right, we're gonna go to Mystic. You wanna unmute yourself, Mystic? Mystic, great name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I it from day to day. <laughs> oh, hi, beautiful. I think it's Caroline, isn't it? it? Is, yes. do you, mind, you don't mind me saying your name, no. I just kind of can feel, I, I've got a sense that I recognised you. Yeah. Caroline, if you've been having um, a little bit um, of backache or, I don't know, I just kind of get this sense of your spine and Dr. Yamosho is kind of stepping in behind you. So does that make sense to you? What's stepping behind me? My doctor. Ah, okay. Mm. Um, I think I think uh, the the over what comes to mind is the overweight thing oh, okay. that might be affecting me in the sitting down all the time. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh huh. So he's coming in behind you. Um, feel free to ask a question, but he's just going to do that while we're talking. So he's coming in behind, um, and it does feel like that. It feels like I'm not not about your weight. I'm not saying that. It just feels like I want to sit up straighter, and I want to you know, my spine. But the reason for that, they're saying, is so he's just doing his work. It's about here. So we can see it sort of in the one, two, three. He's showing me one, two, three, three and four. Yeah, yeah three and four, yeah. like yeah. just, it's three and four actually, mm -hmm. just not quite five, but almost there. And um, what this is about is, I know you, you're a channel, but what this is about is actually having a clearer channel, okay? And when um, we either can't put weight on or we have more weight than we want, you know, then this is just a beautiful message, um, feeling like we actually don't need to protect ourselves anymore. You know, that protection, we don't need that protection, but your protection I'm feeling is, is almost like, are you afraid of your gift? Are you afraid of your abilities? Because you are really powerful. And so there's this incredible power within you and it's a beautiful gift that you have that you help others with and give to others. But there's just this part of you that's a little bit scared of it. Mm. And it just goes back and I can see it in the Akashic records um, in your timeline of experience here. So let's um, leave Dr. Yamosho doing that. It's like the, you know, the bit in between the spine where there's the spongy bit. It's kind of working on that at the moment. 
Okay, so let me just have a look. So there's some lifetimes here, and this might help everybody. There's some lifetimes here where you were killed for being the incredible gift that you are, you know, speaking the word of God. Um, there's some religious stuff here. So let me just do some clearing, definitely for you, uh, Caroline, but for anybody else who feels, maybe feels this resonance with them, that it, they've stopped themselves from really standing fully in their power as a channel. And of course, you have to remember that no one's, a, no one's ever our healer, but we are um, that channel for others so that they can heal and bring through our healing abilities of our own, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's do this, okay. All right. <sighs> Create all the heads, it's commanded that you pull, clear, cancel, and delete on awful levels of resolve in this drill. For Caroline, for anybody else who resonates with this, the lifetimes that you're showing me, the specific ones for Caroline, where she left particular lifetimes feeling the fear of speaking her truth, the fear of her power, of the ability that she had to help others, and to release all of these now. <sighs> and to clear the vows and the oaths that she made and anybody else here present listening or listening to the UK after, any vows or oaths to God? Any, oh, there's an interesting one here, Caroline, a vow and an oath of silence, okay? So to clear the vows and oaths of silence <laughs> that she may have, uh, is that you? Yep. <laughs> Coffee, that she may have taken at any time. So to clear those now. Send them to unconditional love. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, all the times that you've been married to God, meaning you've been married to the church to release those. Ah, thank you. There's some guilt here as well. So let's just do some um, light language around guilt for everyone. So just feel this. Okay, one sec. It's quite a low uh, tone that comes in here to release guilt. Okay. Guilt stops abundance flowing, by the way. Okay, that's clear. Okay, let me have a look at you now. Let's have a look. Okay, so the Palladians are stepping in, and this is. Um, this is an aspect of um, just a vibration of resentment. And it's not that you're a resentful person or anything like that, but it's just a vibration that runs through the heart energy, um, which massively stops the flow of abundance and receiving. So when we have any resentment um, held in our field, then it, it does stop the flow coming in. So let me just invite them. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So for you, Caroline, and for anybody else, just imagine when you hear them come in, it's sort of a song, really. When they come in, just imagine a white rose opening up in your heart. OK, and this is their symbol of healing resentment. OK, here we go. take a deep breath okay how does that feel yeah i felt lots and lots of uh reverber reverberation right inside my body heart all the way in my throat yeah thank you yeah yeah and it was releasing and and we've cleared those lifetimes you know and it you know the thing is caroline is that you know we might do a lot of work on ourselves as we all do right mm -hmm. But as we're shifting and ready to shift, and of course, we're in this great awakening now, then our vibration just needs to go to that next higher level. And so whatever is around us, we don't need anymore. You know, and these just they're little nuances, I like to call them, just little lifetimes of nuance that are coming up to go, oh, well, actually, now you can go to that next level. OK, so let me just check. Um, uh, 
So Dr. Yamosha has kind of like stepped back now. So I can see there's a there's a feeling that yeah. Did you feel him step back? Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, you okay? Yeah, good. Thanks, Caroline. I love you. Thank you. I just remember I I'm gonna go book my my appointment that I already have. Thank you. Good. All right. All right. Someone else. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. All right. Good. Um, how's your How's your volume, uh, Susan? Fine. Good. Okay. So what happens is when the light language comes through, it what it does is it has to readjust. And so the sound comes through and sometimes people say that and the groups are like, oh, I can't hear you now, but it will readjust. So can everyone hear me now? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Well, did it, go, did it go low to start with? Yeah, it just went low a little bit, but it's, yeah. it's back. So yeah, it's perfect. That's because it adjusts to the different sounds. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. Yep. No worries. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, Sydney. Sydney, you want to unmute yourself? Let me just tune in. Hmm. Oh, I got it. It always feels like a small victory when I manage technology. Same. Um, <laughs> Hi, Sydney. Hello, Susan and Alara. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I actually, I, I have a couple questions. I could either ask a question about abundance or ask a question about weight. Um, so whatever works Both, better. Both, I think, might group. help people. So I know, Alara, oh, is two okay or not? It's just for the group. No, you only want one. You only want one. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, because I, I, I know a lot of people have questions about weight and people have questions about abundance. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but I just want well, to tell right everybody now, again... I, please be willing to receive, even from Sydney's question. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Sydney. Well, I do have an abundance of weight right now, so uh, I guess that works. Um, so I have put on 30 pounds in a year, just mm -hmm. this year. And I have to tell you, it doesn't feel real. I mean, it actually feels like it's, it's not part of me. I've checked what I'm eating. I've checked. Um, I don't know. I, I woke up this morning out of a sleep um, thinking that I'd been clearing Congress in my sleep um, with the impeachment or the trial that's going on right now. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's What's up? So one of the things that I've been finding recently um, with some people is that the collective energy, not, not necessarily talking about Trump or anyone else, but um, right. the collective yeah. energy uh, that, that is really happening where we are feeling, where we might feel responsible for another's healing journey, okay, which is what I'm hearing here. <laughs> I've, and when I say I, I'm talking about you okay so because this is the guides are giving me so i i feel that it's my job to heal the world okay so this is what i'm getting for you and the, before you came on before we could hear you the guides were showing me in the heart space and so i feel that what would be really helpful is to um, do some healing on lifetimes where you felt that it was your job to save the world. And what I'm hearing is the weight, um, or just the covering, you know, we can call it the covering <laughs> that's there at the moment, um, is partly to do with um, needing to protect your energy because you've taken on such a journey to help others. Um, and it's one thing to help others and be of service, but it's another thing to feel responsible for it. And what they're telling me is that the responsibility you felt for your mother when you were growing up is one of the keys of why this is showing up now. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Yeah. And I am a caregiver for my mother, who's 94. <sighs> And for my husband, who's 100% disabled with combat-related PTSD. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, so I, very close to my heart, you know, that, that subject. Um, so it makes sense to you that the, and, and that's not to say, you know, that when we do this healing, you won't feel love for them or want to help them or want to, you know, be part of their life. But the key thing is responsibility. You know, when we come into this world, we're only ever responsible for ourselves. And I always say, you're responsible for children and you're responsible for animals. And you're not responsible for anybody else, any other adult in your life. You can care for them, you can share with them, you can love them, but it's not your responsibility. And I feel what we need to do together today that might help you, we can just, you know, we can touch on it today and do some work on it. But I feel that that, it seems to be a theme uh, throughout your life um, and not just with your family. So you are an amazing person to talk to. You're an amazing listener, but you take the weight of the world on, not on your shoulders, on your heart, I'm hearing, okay? So the first place they showed me was, was in my heart. I know it's sometimes hard to hear, but sometimes when something is emotional, it's part of the healing process. And when I speak, my guides are really talking through me. So they're helping you while we're using these words as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So I want you just to sit, everyone to, to sit quietly and just receive this. So this is Mother Mary. And Mother Mary comes in when she's working with the healing, the suffering child. Okay. So I just want you to hear her song and just feel this in your heart. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is for everybody just to receive. Connect with your heart just for a moment. How does that feel, Sydney? Um, it feels like I've got a, a like a, a lump in my throat, but far down, like toward the high heart. So that's your thymus thyroid. You know, if we're thinking about you know your endocrine gland, and that's about your power as well. So it's like I, I my power as a divine feminine woman being this time, I feel I give my power away. So what happens there, you know, our higher heart with that beautiful part of us, it stops us being able to be fully in our power. All right, does that make sense to you? Do you sometimes feel like you give your power away? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let me have a look at this. It's all connected to uh, past life. Um, okay, yeah, fine, we'll do that. Okay, so um, let's work with everybody, including you, obviously, um, Sydney, is the Acturians are stepping in here and they clear up lifetimes and timelines and other things. And so we, we're gonna, they're gonna come in and work with the lifetimes. So anybody who, and pretty much all of us, you know, will have had lifetimes where we gave our power away or we, um, felt that we felt powerless okay so we feel powerless in a situation and this makes sense uh, collectively at the moment a lot of people feel very powerless and so you Sydney especially you know empathic um, empathy or an empathic um, aspect is really a part of us if we are an empath or known as an empath where it's a part of us that has many aspects that we've given our power, we can still feel, I can still feel your energy, I can still, but I don't get affected by it. Does that make sense? Yeah, hence why I can work with veterans, you know, because obviously if I felt everything, I'd be feeling their pain, I'd be feeling everything, but I can see it, but I don't experience it, all right? So let me just um, 
let's just bring them in so everybody just receive this and just offer it open set your intention that when you hear this language and it is a language that you're releasing all of those lifetimes connected to powerlessness okay and you definitely Sydney as well so here they come Ishkala, 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 a TT total to Ishkala, Ish, 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 Ishkala, 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 a TT total to Okay, take a deep breath. How do you feel? How does that space there feel? Very peaceful. Yeah, good, excellent. Well, thank you for oh. that question. Gosh, Questions. thank you. <laughs> Questions in one. We got away thank with it, Sydney, for a long time. We got away with it. Two <laughs> questions in one. <laughs> thank you, Sydney. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to, I wanted to take um, some questions from the chat as well. So yeah, I know it's fine. Jen, Jennifer, where are you? I saw your question a long time ago. Oh, Jen, so can you help me understand this dull pain on the right side of my spine behind my belly button that shows up every other week and lasts for a few days at a time? Mm, interesting. Okay. So anything to do with the, um, I can just see the scanning happening here actually, but I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm seeing that happen, but anything to do with the bones or the muscles, cartilage or anything like that, when we have a pain or an ache, that's the acceptance of self-worth. Okay. So it's like, I, I am worthy. That's, you know, that's that part of the brain. Okay. So I am worthy. So the second phase is after the acceptance, we feel that healing peak, which I spoke about before, and that's where we might get an ache or a muscle ache. So let me just see what this is about um, in the spine. Let's have a look. Ah, I know exactly what this is. Okay. Hopefully she can, she can write in. Okay. So this is when uh, we, are ready to truly stand in our soul's mission, what happens is all of the beings that we um, have chosen to come in, not our guides and things like that, but beings that we've chosen to support us on our journey when we felt we couldn't do it ourselves, need to leave, okay? So there's a particular process I, I do with that where these souls just, we just, you know, thank them, it's beautiful and they leave. And often this back pain, ache, is where the person's made an amazing acceptance. Oh, I, you know, I'm really doing well. I feel really good about myself. I'm ready to step to the next level. And then the, the souls within say, okay, well, well, you don't need us anymore, okay? So they kind of stop you from going to the next level. So when we release them, then you feel more supported because you don't need that support anymore. So then there isn't that back pain. It, I've seen it so many times and this is so incredible because they're showing me exactly where it is. And I feel there are one or two or three actually um, souls that you no longer need, you know, essentially to, to the, so I can't, I would like to do that with that person rather than do it like this because I get them to say it. So I get them to actually say it themselves. So they are the healer and inviting the souls to go. So if she wants to call in or she wants to come on the line, definitely we'll do that. Um, if not, we can do that privately. Mm -hmm. But I really feel that is um, what 100% that's what that's about. And she can press right in and say whether that makes sense to her or not. But it's ready for her. She's ready to go to the next level of fully standing in that worth of herself, that worthiness, and she's done a huge amount of work on herself, this person. Yeah. Uh, do you know her? Do you know I'm, her? I'm ready. She's, she's unmuted, yeah. Can oh, you hear me? fantastic. Hey, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Jennifer, brilliant. Oh, right, perfect. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It feels great. Yeah. yeah, excellent. So are you ready to do this then? Yes. Okay, wow, brilliant. 
Cool. <laughs> so um, what I want to do is just come into your heart space. And anybody else, feel free to say these statements, okay? And you need to really own it yourself, all right? So let me get the words. Hold on one sec. So I want you, Jennifer, to connect with that space where you feel that, you know, occasional twinge, that little achy part of you, okay? All right, you got it? Yeah. Okay, good. So I want you to say these words. Today, I choose to set myself free. Today, I choose to set myself free. Today, I choose to release. Today, I choose to release. Any other souls that reside within me. Any other souls that reside within me. That I have invited. That I have invited. To journey with me. To journey with me. I'm choosing to set myself free. I'm choosing to set myself free. As I set those free. As I set those free. Take a deep breath. We haven't finished, but take a deep breath. I'm choosing to stand in my sovereign right. I'm choosing to stand in my sovereign right. And I own the seamless love that I am. And I own the seamless love that I am. And so it is. And so it is. Okay, so just take a deep breath. I'm just going to watch um, clairvoyantly what happens. Okay, just. All right, yeah. Okay, how does it feel in your back now? I can't hear you very well. Your reception is a bit. I think she said spacious. Yes. Spacious. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Did you, did you ever have, um, were you ever in a hospital uh, when you were younger? Yeah. Okay. You may have brought that in with you then. Okay. Now there was just some, uh, you know, medical helpers that were with you. That's all. Like nurses that were with you that we're helping you so you don't need those anymore so how yeah. do you feel you feel spacious mm. yeah pardon tingly 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 yeah yeah tingly good so just go with that energy because there's a big shift going on now within your field Okay, good. And just be with that. And just give it, you know, a few hours. And I always find I like to work in threes, like three hours, three days, and just see how you feel. But you'll notice a big difference with your back. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jen. <clears throat> and I found that what that was, um, when we were doing that process with Jen, I felt like... Yeah. Uh, chills all over you know and I got the awareness of who I was um holding on to or keeping in my body which was oh, I was not no. expecting that at all but I I, I said oh <laughs> so yeah. that was interesting yeah and it's just because you know we would have invited them sometimes it's when we're in the womb sometimes it's when we're born you know it just depends but it, it's we've just asked them. It's not like waywards and watches and entities or anything. It's it's yeah. literally beautiful souls that have chosen to help us and be with yes, us. Exactly. So ah, that was. Fun. Oh my goodness, Solara, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so much is happening on this call. If you're willing to receive, all right. So um, Odile, Odile never gets a chance to actually come on the call or like to ask a question. So Odile, you want to unmute yourself? I am unmuted. Awesome. Good. Oh, amazing. Good. Well, I'm looking for a job and it's quite difficult because we've got a curfew in France. So not people, not a lot of people are hiring. So I would like some help if I have a, a block or a resistance to finding a job. So this job is your soul's mission, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have a soul mission. I, I know, but I haven't been able to earn money doing that so i'm rather looking for a yeah another job yeah. okay let me just have a look into your field if, if that's okay 
Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, so as I scanned through, um, the first place that I can really see this is um, your your groundedness and so um the feeling i get and what i can see is that you're not grounded in in here in this plane you are here of course you're physically here but you're not grounded and remember what i said at the top of the session about the earth star being really important for us to really ground into so when you connect with that now have a look at your earth star what color is it Brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do you feel when you see that? When you see it as brown, what do you, what's the emotion you feel? Disgusted. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so if you imagine um, there's that, that emotion and that feeling of being disgusted to be connected to being human and being supported by Mother Earth, which is kind of what we did. We just chose to be human, you know, have a soul, having a human experience. So we need to feel really safe and loved by Mother Earth, by Gaia. We need to feel supported. And if we feel disgusted or whatever it might be, afraid or whatever it might be, then that stops that pure connection, all right? So we're just gonna do, let's do an activation for you. So I, I don't, I am a medium and I can do readings and so on for people about houses and stuff like that. But I always find that what's more empowering and more helpful for people is to actually feel that they've made those decisions themselves because I can tell you stuff, but that doesn't help you heal. So let's just do this first and then see how you feel, okay, afterwards. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So let's so let's um, connect. So just connect with your feet. Right, everyone can do this. Let's have an activation for our Earth Star. Why not? It's the billionaire chakra, right? So let's uh, let's all have an activation for this. Okay. So I just want you to connect with your Earth Star. So everyone connect with the star underneath their feet. All right. Okay. We just set the intention that we're going to be more grounded, more connected. We're abundant in our birthright, all right? So just know that this is your birthright. You're not asking for anything that is not already your birthright, okay? All right, my love, okay, let's, okay, connect with it there, all right? And then we'll connect with how it looks afterwards, all right? Okay, here we go. E stay with that though you've just got um a couple of energies around you i just want to clear okay so one sec okay how does it feel now when you connect with uh your earth star Deal? It feels as if the, the Earth star is more rounded. Mm -hmm. And what colour is that? Green. Mm, good. That's really good. And how does it feel when you connect with green? What, you know, what's your feeling about green when you connect with green? It's one of my favourite colours. Amazing. I, I, I use it a lot when I sew my clothes. When you? When I, I make a lot of my clothes. Oh, and you sew your clothes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you make clothes. them. I, wow, I yeah. Green. 
Oh, you're very creative. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So how does it feel now when you connect and you think you're connecting to Mother Earth supporting you and feeling that sense of your birthright of abundance? How does it feel now? And then I'm going to ask you another question. How does it feel? It makes me smile. And there is a lot of activity in my brain. Mm-hmm. You mean like... like yeah, that? yeah. Yeah, really so let, let's and all... In my back on the right side as well. This shifting going on, you see, because that's aligning us to our true abundance, okay? It's really aligning you. So now when you feel into um, thinking about a job or work or whatever, come into your heart, how does it feel? Joyous, joyful, yeah. Mm. So what you're then putting out to the universe is a vibration of I'm ready for joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what you get back is a reflection of something of that vibration. Make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's better than me telling you about a job or no job right? Because now you are the vibration, the attraction, we could say, of something that is much better for you, whatever that might be. Yeah. 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 And if you're, I always feel like if there's something you really love and you've spoken about your dressmaking, if there's something you really love, then it never feels like a job. I do what I do. I don't feel like I work, right? So I just have fun, show up, chat to my guides and have a great time. (laughs) But for you, you love the sewing, don't you? Yes, and I love healing. And you love healing, see? You love being that space for others to heal. Yeah, that, that channel for others to heal, yeah? So... That's really beautiful in itself, isn't it? But if, we, if, we, if we're trying to hard to get something, then what we're doing is we're putting the vibration of hard work into it. So then what we get is a reflection of the hard work. And, you know, and to be honest, yes, we're in lockdowns. We definitely are in the UK, I'm sure you know. Oh, yeah. You know, similar to France, right? We're just across the water from you. And um, we're in the same position, but honestly, we, when we are vibrating at our true mission, our abundance, then life just works out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Thank so you. you get, you know, your guides support you. You get opportunities that, that come in that perhaps, you know, you might be speaking to somebody on the telephone and say, oh, Odile, um, have you heard that somebody needs da, 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 would you be open to helping them with that? job you know and you get paid some money for it and that helps you and then you continue doing the other things you love and gradually you align more fully to your mission yeah 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 much. does that help you oh yeah yeah it does that was lovely thank you good and just connect with that earth star so um one of the the bonuses that we're giving here is is the Earth Star Soul Star uh, meditation. So it will be really good for you to connect with that on a daily basis. And just remind your clever self that you are always supported by Mother Earth. Yeah, thank you. Great, so we went from disgusted by Mother Earth to really joyous about it, which is a massive shift because, you know, Alara, if we feel that, feeling we're just all we're going to attract is something that's really difficult for us yeah yeah no that was Mm -hmm. awesome that was great so happy for your deal thank you thank you so much and so that again that was also for all of us as well right so Mm -hmm. that was (laughs) i love all all these different processes (laughs) (laughs) some wonderful processes of today it's like amazing for just everybody um all right so do you want to take some more questions or do you want to talk about the packages well, I was just going to talk about the the um, packages a little bit because this leads quite nicely into the um, a package A, which is the abundance call, which is next week on mm-hmm. the 17th. And um, it's a group call, but we'll be doing 
lots of work on different aspects of abundance. So lots of past life, lots of inner child healing, you know, whatever comes up, whatever we need, clearing contracts. And so the invite would be that if people want to be part of that, they've they've received, you know, from everyone on here today. And I find like the group collective is really beautiful. So the energy in the group, and there always seems to be a theme, you know, there are certain people that will come to those, those retreats and it is like a two hour retreat. So we get to do lots of healing and I find that they will really resonate with each other. So that's an invite really for the package A. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Susan two. And then package B is everything in package A plus a 30 minute personal session with Susan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a tailored session. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bespoke yeah. personal private session for you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, so those are available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Susan two. And with the Gateway to Abundance Retreat, there's some bonuses. There's a forgiveness letter PDF. There's the Earth Star Soul Star Meditation MP3 and an extra bonus because <laughs> I said, Susan, how about something else? Um, uh, so I went, okay, have this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Healing the I am presence of love meditation MP3. So mm. lots of, you know, wonderful bonuses yeah. plus the healing retreat and the 30 minute session in package B. That's awesome. Thank you. I love it. So that's okay. available. Uh, the, the link is in the chat as well. Um, so I, I, I wanted to just take a few more quick questions if that's okay. Cause I know that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just to say the retreat is next Wednesday, and I think it is. What time is it? What time have we got on the it's UK is, time? Yeah, I think it's at, uh, eight PM UK time. Mm -hmm. Eight PM UK time. So, so that's three uh, PM Eastern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. same time as this oh, yeah. call. <laughs> same time as this call. Yeah. <laughs> so three PM Eastern. Okay, February seventeenth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's recorded if anyone can't make it live, you know, it's recorded and the replay sent out immediately. So people can be part of it. Yeah. If they can't attend live, can they send you a question beforehand? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I want to just take a few more quick questions. Um, Cause I know we've already gone, you know, past our time. Um, Destiny, you want to unmute yourself? <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Hi, Destiny. Hey. Hi. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Susan. Um, <clears throat> I seem to be having an issue with my my being keeps wanting to go to distant planets and distant universes, and so I'm having a hard time getting myself back out of there and here to Gaia. Oh wow! And does this happen when you are sleeping, or is this in the daytime? Uh, well, you know what? I have been in like this um, a different reality and I'm getting attacked throughout the day. So it's like I'm feeling it and I didn't understand what was happening for the longest time. And then my teacher mentioned it to me that I'm like traveling to different distant realities and that I'm sticking my head in places where I shouldn't be. And that's why I'm getting attacked. Because I was like constantly getting attacked and I didn't understand. So he pulled me out of there. And for that moment that I was pulled out of there, I felt great. But then my body or something chose to keep going back into mm -hmm. these distant realities. Okay. So, so the way that I see these things is that um, we, when we have attacks or we have psychic attacks or whatever it might be, then in our field, we are a light bulb for that, okay? So what happens is that the, the more that we can, and I'll do a process with you in a moment and check your field um, for what's going on, but I just want everyone to understand this, okay? So, so essentially, because we are a vibrational match, okay? And there are no mistakes, we're a vibrational match to whatever. When we hold anything in our field that might be fear, that might be um, trauma, might be shock. And if we are somebody who is here as you are to really explore these other realms, okay? And I work with the, the Palladians, but I don't, I just work with them. You know, they come in and they work with me and I can travel, but I travel in a conscious way 
So I will go and I will visit other places, but I'm conscious of it. Okay. And what one of the things that I, I teach in my uh, mediumship groups is that we are in control 100% of what we allow and what we don't allow. Okay. So when my guides uh, come in, I know, I know they are now, but you know, before I would sort of test it out and check, you know, many years ago. And one of the things I teach is that we know that we are literally the one in control. Okay, the nothing can control us. And it's the same with what's happening in the world. Nothing outside of us can hurt us. Okay, only if we believe it. Okay, so I'm just going to um, the clearing statement that I that I say a lot, but the one that I said um, at the top of the session before we started taking any calls, before I started taking any, is where I'm clearing the space and I'm asking any waywards, which are those that have passed over that don't know they've passed over, to go to the light. Any watchers, now watchers are those that um, are just watching what we're doing, you know, we're working in the light and they're just watching what's going on. And entities, which are perhaps we might say of um, a darker energy or a lower energy, okay? Um, and quite often contracts, if we hold contracts, we hold those in our field as well. And that attracts situations that you're talking about. So rather than getting deeply into what your experience is, I want to give you some tools to be able to know that you are the one that's in control. OK, I just want to have a, um, a look at your field. OK, so um, if you just connect with your body and connect with your field, meaning your light field. All right. Just get a sense, ground yourself, put your feet down on the ground, connect with your earth star. And I think everyone would be good for everyone to do this. Connect with your earth star once again. Okay. Yeah, good. And I want you to get a sense of what energy is behind you. And tell me what energy you feel behind you. I feel uh, it's like cold, it's cold. Whatever mm -hmm. I'm feeling, sensing, it's cold. So it's, it's <clears throat> yeah. um, and it's big. So you, okay, so just, just be present there, okay? And I'm just going to do a process. And this is for everyone, so it's not everyone at all. Okay, ready? And you just get a sense of um, what happens when I say this, these particular words, all right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Greater all that is. It is commanded that you pull, clear, cancel and delete on all four levels and resolve on the history level. What's your first name? Destiny. For destiny, for our highest and best good and the easiest possible way and send them to unconditional love so that she can be free and so can they. Tis done, tis done, tis done. Thank you, show me. Take a deep breath. Okay, so feel into the energy behind you now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, Alara, what I'm, what I'm, I'm going to do as well as I'm going to send you that statement so you can give it to everybody, um, you know, who gets a package, they can have that statement as well. So it's clearly written. Um, but also what I want to say to you, Destiny, is I want you to now invite in your guides. This is for everybody. So invite in your guides. Now knowing that they're coming from a place of pure, unconditional love because you've done the clearing statement, so just invite them in. Okay, good. Right, what sense do you get? What signature do you get? Um, <clears throat> well, I feel safer than what I did. It was like, I kept feeling this energy that was just kind of hindering me and sending negative thoughts. And now I just feel a little more supported. <clears throat> of course, yeah. And um, now I want you to ask those guides to step out. To step out. Yeah. You're in control. 
Ask them to step out of your field. Okay, there. Good. 19. Yes. And now ask step them to step back in. And step back in. You feel that? Yeah. That's the beginnings of understanding a signature with your guides. The key thing when you do any spiritual work, and sometimes this isn't taught, is that you need to get to know, clear your energy, ground yourself, protect your energy, not from a place of fear, just clear it in a beautiful sacred space. Then you start bringing your guides in and you start to know the signatures of them. And then you can say to your guides, okay, so if you want me to travel to other places, to other dimensions, you come with me and I know I'm completely safe or I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah? So that's, because that's what... what I'm here to do. I'm here. I'm actually here to travel to all. The, that's why I'm doing all of this. Yeah. I'm, but you need I'm, to do it from a place of your own decision yeah. and your yeah. own control. And when you feel mm -hmm. safe, then you can easily close your eyes and say, okay, where do you want me? Yeah, because you know that you're in that space, you're completely grounded, you're completely protected, you have your beautiful guides that work with you and you're in that space where you know that whatever happens next is for your highest and best. So what you had around you, um, I will never ever work in any situation until I've done that. I have many clients and groups that I run, but I always clear the energy every single time. Okay, which is why I did yeah. it before we did any work, right? So it's mm -hmm. fine to chat, but before I bring any of my team in to work with anyone, I always do that. So um, then I know that everyone's in a sacred space, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what? So that. what you had behind you was just energies that interfere. Yeah. So we don't have to get into a big discussion about them it's just that energies come in and attract to the fear and attract to the feeling of um giving our control and our power away okay thank you for that <sighs> thank you so much hopefully that helped you're welcome thank you destiny and um look thank out for the email and the uh the wording that um susan's going to yeah. send me okay yeah. Yeah, really, really Absolutely. important. Yeah, awesome. Yes. Good. You, thank you. All right. Thank you. Good. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Mary B says this call has been amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Mary. Yeah, Mary absolutely. <laughs> thank so, Mary you. B, I know you've had your hand raised for a while. Do you want to ask a question? Uh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Hi, Mary. <laughs> oh, I love um, this. Was absolutely amazing. Every single thing. Thank you. You are amazing, Lara. Too. I'm, I'm starting to love this show so much that I want to miss it. So. Yay! Awesome. Okay. I'll, I'll That's what Lara wants to hear. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's lovely. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, okay. So this will be a, a little different than what everyone else. Um, but I know. Um, we like difference. One of your. I noticed from your write-up, like depression, anxiety, PTSD, whatever, mm -hmm. um, which I've been experiencing, like, but, okay. um, and it's a broad topic and I already have my scheduled thing with you because I, I oh, uh, okay. love your package. I just bought it. But, oh, I, thank you. Uh, but the one thing that's, um, I guess, whole, really just every day I go through this, like, uh, is even like, it's, it's an anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. you know, hopelessness type of thing but this weird thing like even looking at the beautiful print behind you which is something I would normally mm -hmm. love like would make my like oh my god I love that it actually makes me like get panicky like mm -hmm. what's in triggering me or like um I, I can't explain just, it even my I favorite oh just, their guy okay yeah one sec, yeah, one sec. okay yeah, okay, all right. So um, how does it feel when I say to you, um, I give you permission to feel joy? Oh, oh, that feels like I would love it. It feels great if I could do it because I can't feel joy. Yeah. And I'm, I used to be so joyful. What happened? 
Oh, okay. So I no no no, it's just because <laughs> my guides step in and start <laughs> telling me and talking to me. Welcome. So I so I have um so I have you about four years old. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, I have you about four years old, and I feel like uh something happened where the rug was pulled from under your feet. And that's an expression we use here in the UK, so I don't know if it means anything to you, but it's where you just feel like a shock. Yeah. Um, or something, you know, something happened in your life where you felt then at that moment that it wasn't safe. And actually what I'm also hearing is that there was, ah, that's, thank you. That's what it is. Okay. So they're telling me that you, um, you're not quite in your body. Yeah. Oh, right. I know you don't. So, yes. Yeah. They're saying that that's okay. That's all right. Let's, let's do that now. Okay. So um, let me have a look. Yeah, so I can see you at four years old. I can see uh, the 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 shock that you felt then, and then there's this sense of isolation, and it's almost like well, you put up this kind of guard barrier, which you know we all do to a point, but this barrier has been with you for such a long time that you've got used to the fact that other people can be happy, but you can't, right? And you can't feel it. And what I'm hearing is because you you sort of came out of your body a little bit okay that's not it doesn't mean that you're completely out of your body it just means energetically just not quite aligned um so because of that there's a numbness which they're telling me it's great you're doing a private session with me we can really go into that definitely but there is a a sense of um I can't feel does that make sense to you yeah yeah so it's like that I can't work. feel and quite often, um, you know, I found this with, with veterans and other people, you know, um, that experience trauma is that there is a part of them that's not quite here. You're here, but you're not quite present. And so what happens then is everything just feels a bit scary. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. creates a post feels like a post traumatic. I don't really like labels, but it creates a kind of a vibration of high cortisol, high adrenaline, um, on guard, you know, fight and flight, freeze response. It's all happening in the brain, all this kind of stuff. And you have to kind of be on guard, mm-hmm. right? So that that is symptomatic of, I've just found this, symptomatic of somebody who's not completely in their body through shock and trauma. Yes. Right? yes. So we will do that in a, in a session, but let's just let's just help everybody here that may be feeling the same, maybe feeling anxious, maybe feeling really not themselves. Yes. You know, and obviously there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. But but aside from that, that comes from it's never about today. It's always about a time before. OK, right. Yes. So Thanks. let's just all come into our heart. Especially you, Mary. <sighs> Come into your heart space, okay? And I want you just to once again ground into that earth star. Okay, good. All right. And you may in a moment feel yourself moving. You know, this is when the guides are aligning us, okay? So we, ah, thank you. Okay, so Dr. Yamosho is stepping in and where you hold the shock is in your bones. So in your skeletal system so he's just going to come in and work with you um releasing the shock from the bones particularly the shoulders and the joints in the shoulders here like in the shoulders i can see him so he's working with the shock there so i think you hold yourself quite tight yeah um that's what he's saying to me like you know almost like ready for combat (laughs) so um this is the feeling i'm getting okay there's some past lives there as well which will clear but i can um see him coming in and working with releasing here releasing the tension here okay for you hold on so let but let's just help align you okay right so i want everybody including you to imagine that from your soul star you go higher up So you've got soul star above your head. Imagine going right up into the universe, into the multiverse. And I want you to see an electric blue beam of light. Okay, now the galactics are working with you with this. So I want you to bring down this galactic blue laser beam of light through through the soul star, through your crown, all the way through your spine, Send it all the way down to the bottom of your spine and send it right down into Mother Earth, 
into your earth star. Okay, a bit more. Okay, and I want you to say these words. Oh, one sec. I am fully aligned with my consciousness. I am fully aligned with my consciousness. Consciousness. Mind, body, soul. Mind, body, soul. Freedom. Freedom. Take a deep breath. That's a bit better. Looks a bit on nerve. Okay. All right. Okay. So how does that feel? Like, like I want to cry like a lot. Good. Good. Just come into your heart space and just, I'm just going to bring Mother Mary in here. Uh, Yes, I do. Thank you. That was really beautiful. I have a feeling that went to my adrenals too, because I think, um, like you yeah. said, fight or flight always and everything. That was amazing. Thank yeah, you. and digestion, you know, when we're in, I, just, I, Lara, I will talk a bit about the adrenals actually to help people, because I know we put that in there mm -hmm. and it, it will help people understand, you know, where they might be affected. Um, but yeah, Mary, so it so the first the first adrenal gland to be affected by stress or trauma is always the adrenaline, the adrenal glands that sit on the top of the kidneys. Mm -hmm. So that's the first adrenal gland to be affected. So when you might hear people talk about adrenal fatigue, it's only really because we've gone into fight and flight and the cortisol's high in our brain, the adrenaline's high. And so the body is working really hard. Okay. So that's the first place we would work with. And that's really associated to your root as well. And, you know, it's really associated to your root, to being grounded, to being really, um, centralized I'm hearing so centralized in in this experience this existence you know right yes okay. yeah. um and then we go up um and this is for you but for everybody and we go up and you know we're, we're really going into that center of creativity which is our our sacral <clears throat> let's get some water mm. and quite often you know we will find that we have digestive issues where we're holding on or we feel that our digestion is not working properly. And that also works with the solar plexus as well, which is the kind of more golden yellow one. And it it's, coincides with power around being a woman. If we're thinking about, you know, we're women or if we're men, it would be our sexual organs as a man or our sexual organs as a woman. So that's our creativity and our true essence of our divine feminine or our divine masculine. Okay, then the solar plexus, which is also about power, it's connected to the pancreas. Right. And what I find, and that's, you know, produces insulin, obviously. Um, what I find with, um, oh, I'll answer Mel's question after she's saying that she had a headache and felt sick. I'll, I'll definitely talk about that for you. Um, so when, with the pancreas, if we're working with the pancreas, we're really looking at, if there's any imbalance there, we're looking at a wronged being feeling wronged by someone yeah so either um you know we didn't get what we deserved or whether it's a chunk of money or a relationship or um inheritance or we were wronged by someone and then what i find is that the pancreas might show a message of diabetes or whatever it might be and so we can heal aspects of that the emotional side of it i have to say not the physical that happens anyway <laughs> so the emotional side of it we can heal the trauma of that which really helps the pancreas which helps the insulin etc okay so um the solar plexus is really responsible quite a lot for that so i find that the childhood aspect of giving our power away when we heal that then that aspect um of the endocrine gland starts to work a bit better yes okay um, then we go up, you know, we're going up and we're going up obviously to, to the heart space. And so we are looking at the heart. But when we go higher, we're looking at the higher heart, which I spoke about earlier, I think with Sydney, mm -hmm. um, which is the thymus thyroid. 
Yeah, so we're looking at that gland and that's definitely about uh, mm. feeling powerless, okay? And that's mm -hmm. really our higher heart, isn't it? Yeah, and we're going up into our throat chakra, our throat energy. So anything to do with the throat about not being heard, not feeling heard, not being able to speak uh, our heart from our heart, rather to speak the word of God, whatever we want to do, then this gets affected here and also affects the powerlessness, right? And then it goes up to uh, the well, the pineal gland, okay, which which sits in there, and that's our light center. So we really, that's a part of us that brings down, you know, the light through us. And so sometimes when, when, when people are feeling um, SAD, you know, seasonal affective disorder, yes, the, we will have darkness in the place that we live. But if we have that out of alignment or, or that, that chakra is out of alignment, that pineal gland, that essence, we're not bringing the light in. Okay. So when we have, um, anything going on with our adrenals, sorry, our endocrine glands, then we always, always work with the adrenals first. And so if you have something that's out of alignment with your uh, um, endocrine gland, not necessarily targeting that gland, say it's here, always go to the um, first endocrine gland because there's, there's the kidneys, then there's the reproductive, then there's so on, then there's so on, because it works together. Because we are just such a beautiful, incredible being that worked it out, you know, <laughs> that we decided to work it out. We were like, well, yeah. well, we'll know that and then we'll do that and then we heal that. And the same with um, maybe a controversial subject, but the same with cancer. You know, cancer doesn't jump, right? It doesn't go, you know, when people talk about that spreading, it spreads from this part of the body to that part, but it doesn't jump, you know, it actually is associated to the emotions and the brain relay, depending on what shock and trauma is held there. Right. So, yeah. And so yeah. secondary cancer is, you know, usually because the shock of the news of being given diagnosis hasn't been healed. So that's wow. into the lungs, up to the brain, into the physical body. And that's how it happens with us. So we get a shock, we go, you know, even if we might not do that, we get that sense within us and it goes into our body. So what we always heal is always the shock of the news. Yeah. Oh, so that's, yeah. and I do that with HIV. I do that with veterans, anything. We don't talk about the actual symptom, talk about the shock of the news. Because when you heal the fear and the shock of the news and the trauma, same with any physical aspect of ourselves, then the body goes, ah, oh, Wow. And it starts to relax and the fear releases. Yeah. Yes. I hope and that helps. Uh, oh, my God. It helped. I, I have not felt this relief in my solar plexus for uh, probably two years now. I'm, and now the thing behind you looks beautiful again. <laughs> I did oh, good. Didn't make any yeah. nervous. So yeah. it's, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and it, thank you. I can't. Yes. That, that was amazing. Thank you. Can I see if I can share something? really quick uh, I, I know you were short i just want to oh go ahead yeah can you can you see that or star oh that star wow yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to share that really quick only because that's when you beautiful. get started the whole thing and you've been saying it and that's been on my <laughs> dresser for about 10 years now and i'm pretty sure There's it's never connected. any mistakes yes yeah, that's awesome thank you <laughs> thank you Mara. thank Thanks, you Laura. thank you guys Laura, i Thank kind you. of need to wrap up really um because yeah. it's 10 o'clock at night here so i need to make sure my children get some sort of sleep tonight <laughs> oh, I, I totally agree but, it's 11 o'clock here yeah. I'm like, oh I, yeah i know it's yeah. just an amazing 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 call so rich like sandra was saying and so many different processes and just so much yeah it was such a wow such a such a gift thank you so much Susan. oh i do need to answer that question sorry i did promise oh, from what, what's it? yeah yeah I can't see it now. Can you the, see that, that process gave me a headache and I feel oh. nausea? Is that because I'm not in my body? I do have a serious neck issue. Am I blocking the process? It could be, but it's also a healing peak. So a healing peak can be that we feel a bit sick. Um, you know, we we burp, we you know yawn a lot. We have a headache. I spoke about earlier. So these are these are aspects of you know 
um essentially us healing but yeah definitely i mean you know you can look into that another time if you want to do some individual work we can look at that block diane's saying something she's saying german new medicine that's exactly what meta health is diane meta health is german new medicine and that's where it came from and um i combine it with my guide but also my naturopathic training as well so i i don't just use meta health but i kind of combine it all together you know mm -hmm. yeah awesome thank yeah. you yeah all right that was a full, <sighs> full call lots of lots of processing so please drink lots of water ground yourself mm -hmm. keep connecting to that earth star that will help you to ground and be physically present in your body so you know and uh, if you'd like to work more intimately with susan check, take a look at the packages that are available at alara.at forward slash show for slash susan 2 package a and then there's package b where you can get a personal session and work with her one-on-one -on -one. i highly recommend it i mean she's been amazing and awesome during this call with all the all the intuitive scans and readings and processes etc it's been amazing so <laughs> i highly recommend well, thanks for having me personal session yeah <laughs> it'll be it'll be good Thank you, Susan. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm, thank thank you. you. All right, everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alara. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.